Alright, this is gonna be like all over the place, and I apologize in advance, um, because I'm really, really out of it. But I wanted to make a video while I was on my mind, so I could uh, update you guys to the best of my pathetic ability. Um, I went to the wizard yesterday, um, it was fun. Um, yeah, things are are pretty frustrating right now. We're coming up on um, it being, actually I think this month, if I recall correctly, Mark's being on um, IV treatment for a year. Uh, I'm just a really weird, weird case of um, somebody who has a really hard time handling a lot of neurotoxins and I get really out of it and I get really overloaded um, so we or at least have made a little bit of progress the pain is better since last time um, the seizures are a little bit better um, but there's a lot of weird little things going on um, my hair is falling out which you can't tell in any of the pictures I've seen of me lately um, because my hair is so thick but I've probably lost, I don't know, a third of the hair I had. It's really strange. Um, I have more numbness. Uh, I can't walk around barefoot. And I'm having these really bad headaches that come with um, the antibiotics that basically leave me completely just worthless um, so we uh, we changed a few things we added another headache it's actually a migraine medicine in um, and we're reducing the days that I'm on uh, antibiotics to only two days a week so I do two days of antibiotics and now we've added in a second antibiotic um, to the one that I was having a hard time with because I finally, I think, got over the hump dealing with it, so we've added a second but instead of dosing three days a week, we're only going to dose two uh, I always do three bags of fluids a week I had been doing them every um, every every day and it, it just got too much for us to to just be able to coordinate um, even though it did make a big difference, it was just so much and of course cost I hate wasted supplies or not being able to dose because it's wasted money so it looks like at this point I am checking in uh, the last week in June may or may not be going back the second week of July um, but that's enough time to do two cycles I'm doing uh, one week on, I think, two weeks off. If I'm wrong, I'll, I'll be corrected in the comments. Uh, I'm just really tired. I didn't really, it was just crazy. There's so much to deal with when we get there. It's so hectic with trying to count supplies. And it's just a mess. But, so, um, yeah. It looks like this is going to take a lot longer than even I expected. I always give myself extra time because I just, I know my body is struggling. And it looks like we're probably going to end up doing, I, I don't even want to put a month on it, but probably two more visits before I even begin to slide off of IV. Which is pretty devastating from a monetary perspective. Um, I won't recall the number um, that we've spent so far, but it's much, much, much greater than what we expected. So that's um, that's just a big guilty thing for me, not. My body is not reacting and dealing with this stuff fast enough, and it's costing more. So it's really hard to deal with. 
Um, so it looks like I'm gonna have this pick line another summer. And, um, nothing big is planned. Jackie's finishing up school right now. She'll be done by next week. Um, we've got band camp in August and maybe a vacation in July, but we're not sure what we're doing exactly. Um, I'm trying to get my mom to fill in the hot tub because anything at this point to make me feel remotely better would be good. Um, I have a lot of trouble with my back and uh, the headaches and getting around because of my feet. But I'm doing okay. Um, better, I guess, physically than I have been, but it's it's still quite a lot and, and pretty devastating. Um, the emotional aspect of it is uh, it's just really, really heavy at this point. Um, I don't know. Life has been throwing quite a lot at me lately. Uh, yeah. I don't even want to get into it. Cause this is so much stuff. Um, yeah. I'm sorry I don't have any fun news or a really stupid story. We did try to go to this place yesterday on the way home called the Fractured Prune, which uh, Daniel Say What has talked about, but it's a, it's a donut shop in um, Concord. It's about, I don't know, almost halfway between for us as we're going to South Carolina. Uh, but um, they're closed, and they had a sign that said, sorry, closed due to the economy. That was a bummer, so we went to cookout instead. Yeah, we had Harper's last night for dinner in um, in Charlotte. It was interesting. I had like, like they were like I don't know, maybe this big, three of them, three mini cheeseburgers. They're an appetizer, but I had them for dinner with some sweet potato fries. And Jackie said that's so American cheeseburgers is an appetizer, but I was just glad I could get something small. I only ate two of the cheeseburgers. I just I don't have an appetite. There's the other thing I wanted to talk about. Um, the wizard is talking about things that he's doing and kind of modifications to deal with things on the front end as opposed, you know, like things you can do that are preventative and then the back end as far as things you can do to detox. Um, and he's talking about how uh, he talks about a lot of his patients now. He's pretty much everybody suggesting to do a gluten-restricted diet. I'm not entirely gluten-free, give everything up, but just to restrict the amount that, that you're coming into contact with. Which is really interesting because a really good friend of mine went gluten-free recently and she seems to be feeling a lot better. So I'm really interested in it, but at the same time I'm a bit concerned, I guess, just because it's very overwhelming to to go out and try to buy those, you know, to buy stuff and the fact that there are two of us in this household that are very sick, it's really hard to make meals. So the faster something is, the quicker and, and the easier it is to make, the better. And it has to be healthy at the same time. And over time, we've gotten really slack about what we eat because it's really simply just eat what you can, when you can, as quickly as you can make it to survive. And I know that's a terrible thing, but it's just part of how things go with this illness. You just, you don't have any energy. So, um, anybody who is or uses or whatever, um, a gluten-free diet, um, shoot me a video response or a private message or anything and let me know what has helped you, um, along the way or during the process. That would be really helpful. Um, I've found some websites and done some research, but it's it's pretty limited at this point. Uh, I just wanted to check in and say hi. I'm sorry this isn't funny or silly. Um, I'm pretty lame lately. I can't help it. Anyway, I hope you guys are taking care. It's good to hear from some of you. Um, Suzanne, I'm glad you finally made a, made a vlog. It's good to see your face. Um, and everybody else, check in, because I haven't heard from some of you guys. So um, I hope you're doing okay, and um, I'll see you guys later. Bye.